So we're going to talk about smaller amounts. Um, a lot of people have seen the videos about me packing the bigger fleeces into bigger boxes, but somebody said the smaller clean fleece, get it smaller boxes, smaller envelopes. So uh, I'm going to show you a couple different ways. Uh, we're going to try and fit it in this little tiny box. This thing should ship for uh, dirt cheap. And uh, this is almost, I think it's around seven bucks, might be 720 or something like that, flat rate, anywhere two or three days cross country. So uh, I don't really have any smaller bags. This will do, we'll make it work. But I'll just show you the process of how I would do either or. We're gonna start with the envelope. Just gonna suck it down. that over. Stick it. The only rule that the post office says is that these flaps have to touch. So once that's on there, I'm going to take a couple pieces of tape, put some tape on it. I'm probably going to put one more these way, two more this way, and one over the side flaps, and that'll ship. Seven bucks anywhere. So now we're going to try and go for that little tiny box. Show you the same little deal. If you don't want to do the flat rate, sometimes if you're a skate or two away, it's easier to go small box or brown bag it, either or. So to start this small box, I'm going to kind of shove this in there the best I can. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a try. So I've got a little bit more bag than I should probably have. If I would have switched to a smaller bag, we probably would have got it pretty good. But a little bit more stuffing. And a little bit more tape. And you can get her. I'd put a little bit more tape on that just to make sure she doesn't explode. But you guys get the gist of it. So, give her a try. Good luck.